I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of the lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The lock has arrived on Raw. And apparently the lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big idea is about rechristening his title. The Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard the lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here at WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight, so I'd actually give the advantage to the lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Championship in his WWE debut. What an unbelievable night here on Raw. Not many superstars can say they captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future Come world on. champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sami Zayn from behind. Well, oh, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sami goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sami. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sami again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sammy for a ride. Stop, stop, that's enough. And the safe goes crashing down with Sammy inside. This night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Luck. What a debut. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good, we can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat with a K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion, The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? 
Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe, but things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run, but I promise this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! <laughs> Didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. We probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time US champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah. It's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center, or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. <laughs> well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just... Let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. 
Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. Going for the pin. One, two. Sami Zayn just blindsided the lock with his chain. This was all a setup to weaken the Intercontinental Champion before he faces Sami Zayn. Did Sammy say something about the safe? Could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sammy Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sammy looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly-to-belly -belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a 1,000 pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sammy and Ridge want no part of him. Well, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Lock certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. So, these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Sammy wants to talk about privilege? Well, he's going to have the privilege of having a 10-foot ladder jammed down his throat. Boom! Mic drop! An impressive win over Mad Cat Moss. Here comes the man with a shot to the back. What the heck is he doing out here? And now the Miz is asking for the cage to be lowered down. This is absolute mayhem. The champion just survived a cage match, and now he's dealing with this? The champ's doing his best to battle back, but Miz has played the element of surprise to perfection. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? Low blow from the Miz. The most unpredictable man Sports entertainment has struck again. And again, and again, and again. Talk about a long night for the Intercontinental Champion. This is brutal. Here are your winners. Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Natalya. Now we know who the better man and woman are. What a mixed tag match. Dominant forces within their own divisions, even more impressive together. Congratulations on nothing. That win was completely meaningless. What matters is that I still have an icy title shot. Care to make it French rules? Here we go. What does that even mean? It's the highest form of unpredictable surprise-based sports entertainment. A proper cage match with escape-only rules. Are you intercontinental enough to handle it? Call it whatever you want, miss. It's clearly just a pathetic attempt to find an advantage that you will desperately need. Bad news, though? I'm keeping this Intercontinental title no matter what fake French surprise you have planned.
bad news? No way! I'm clearly in your head, which is the best news. Say au revoir to your championship. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Scorpion Sub-Zero. An always thrilling steel cage match, unpredictable to the very end, but there's the survivor. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE Universe. Hey champ, I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. We want The Lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets, LA. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I wouldn't mind smacking around Sami Zayn for old time's sake. Tried and true. I'll make it happen. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in L.A. promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Sammy would be a match people wanted to see, but... Maybe they were tired of it and wanted something new. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup the other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So, who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, 
hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently. Unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in Arcade Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time. Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So, where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not gonna wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. The last version had issues. I couldn't keep track from one week to the next if you were together, broken up, or who was even in the group. You're not wrong, which is why I am going to do it right this time. And that starts with you. I mean, look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become WWE Champion. And I can do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, but you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, The Lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? I still need more time to decide. I totally get it. Think it over and do what's best for you. Hopefully, that means joining my side. I'll let you know. Did you make up your mind about joining me? Yeah, I'm ready to be a part of Evolution. Good, you made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and don't be late. I'll be there. Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone's arriving in style. 
Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw, and they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. I thought you said I needed to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Almas from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah, but ours is better. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. Don't worry. After this match, I'll be holding two championships. We got this. Evolution looking to capture two people! Moss has other plans. The Intercontinental Champion is doing everything in this power to counter. No, Moss is just too strong. A new Hurt Business looks to walk out as champions. What has started with the frog splash out of Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear for Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold. But ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. But what's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot, and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Omas and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. Gabe didn't get pinned. You did. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a title rematch. Sure. <laughs> okay. Not bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think Randy's right. It makes more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood? <sighs> Sorry. You're right. I didn't mean to get out of line or anything like that. Good.
So how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Evolution is a solid group, and we are even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what Randy told you to say? What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to Orton. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. What are you doing here? I'm here as a representative of the New Day, the longest tenured faction in WWE. Kind of like welcoming a new neighbor who just moved in. It's become our custom to welcome all new factions to WWE. And there's even a gift basket coming for you and your Evolution friends. Full disclosure, Retribution broke up before we could give them theirs, so we repurposed some items. Be sure to check the expiration date on those summer sausages. Thanks, I guess. I'll let the other guys know you stopped by. If you ever need any tips on how to stick together as long as the New Day has, just let me know. Faction longevity and continuity not only equal success in the ring, but also outside. Have you thought about branding opportunities? We've mainly been focused on in-ring success. You know, winning championships. Think bigger. Evolution branded suits, collared shirts, uh, pleated pants, um, shiny shoes. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> maybe your faction doesn't lend itself as well to merchandising, but maybe it's something as simple as being on the cover of the WWE 2K video game. New Day has that honor this year, but if you play your cards right, that could be evolution for the next game. Why is New Day on the cover of the game? Evolution has the Raw Tag Team Championships, and I'm Intercontinental Champion. You have... nothing. New Day is a proven commodity! We've held Tag Team Gold over ten times, and we'll get those back soon enough. Maybe I'll even take your Intercontinental Championship, too. Would be a nice moment to feature in the game's New Day Showcase mode. That feels like a threat. Maybe Evolution will have to pay New Day a visit, too. You know, just to thank you for the kind welcome. Now that feels like a threat. But I'm kind of busy, you know, merch, game stuff. So I'm gonna go now, again, welcome, and uh, good luck. Day rocks. You want to threaten us, huh? These are our titles. This isn't a game. You want to explain what the hell that was all about? You said I'm going to be the guy someday, right? Well, I got started early and took charge of the situation. No, that's not how this works. How clear do I have to make this? I call the shots in evolution. You might be the lock, but you're not the leader. And Slade, you're not off the hook either. You went along with his stupid plan. <sighs> no, you're right. I know I'm right. Have a mind of your own for once. Stop being a follower. It's what's held you back your entire career. <sighs> Understood. All right, enough about that. We need to focus on these singles matches before the situation gets any worse. It'll be me against Kofi. Gabe, you've got Big E. And Locke, you're up against Xavier Woods. Don't blow this. Again. Damn it! I had that match won. They just got lucky against you guys. What I did against Xavier is a preview of how the tag title match will go. We'll beat them when it matters. Congratulations. You did your part in trying to get us out of a situation that you stupidly got us into to begin with. All over what, some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships in evolution. Get your priorities straight. That is what I care about. Okay, well you're gonna get a chance to prove it. I got word that it's gonna be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six-man tag. 
I look forward to showing you what I'm capable of. We will not lose. You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, evolution in the herb business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Doesn't matter to me, because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away Intercontinental Champion. Okay, Locke. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. All right, let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. What's your deal? Do you think I can't win without your help? If you've forgotten, I was champion long before we joined up. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm gonna be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business would be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Fina, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined evolution, and now? You need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. The champion's looking to take things to the air here. But Omas has recovered and grabs a hold of him. The lock's trying to free himself. And he does, but the referee got taken out. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? MVP making his presence known. Well, it looks like the Hurt Business are the ones who are going to capitalize. Choke slam down to the mat. Omas with a pin attempt. The referee's coming too. One, two, three. He did it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business is too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder. Where was Evolution? And now MVP in the Hurt Business are taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where is Gabriel Slate? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Omas. But I agree, there's definitely something off with Evolution. Where's Orton and Slate? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? 
Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower, that I lack killer instinct, that it's held me back my entire WWE career. Well, I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. Stirring of bad luck, or all part of the plan? It was bad luck. I had Omas beat before the ref got in the way and the Hurt Business cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a, a weight has been lifted from me. Dead weight in the form of Orton and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in Evolution. But now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you. But what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE Universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. He certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. 
This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine, AKA the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that, and you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on. Name one thing! Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. That's why I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged oh, here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Shaw just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. 
Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go! This was assault, and it's all on camera! Get off of me! You haven't seen the last of me! Actually, I think we have! You're fired! Again! Bye! Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Eh, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months and knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. And we agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you, I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too, for me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right, we're at an airport. Where to first? The loo, this coffee ran straight through me. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, I wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. 
However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. Gold rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how's that working out for you? There's a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes, you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say, but sure. What I learned is, you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me, you're ready to wet a wig. Okay, fine, I'll give it a shot. At least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before you say anything else that changes my mind. Chosen, what are you doing here? The VIP range was closed. Broken pipe or something. I can't believe I have to wait down here with... Uh, everyone. Sorry to hear about your lounge issue, but I meant, what are you doing here at the airport? Oh, I've been on the road promoting Pro Wrestling Japan's upcoming Apex Tournament. It's going to be the biggest one ever. For the first time, it's going to include WWE superstars who previously competed in Japan. And me, of course. Interesting. You know, I'm on a bit of a comeback tour myself, and I'm a former WWE superstar who previously competed in Japan. Are there any spots left in the tournament? You're still wrestling? I thought you walked here at the airport now. I was going to see if you could get that pipe fixed for me. You look like a prama. No, I'm wrestling. And I'd love to get in the tournament if you can pull some strings. Hmm. There is one spot left. I can get you in a qualified match. If you do something for me first. This better not be about the broken pipe. I need you to say Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. Even better than the so-called Lock. Do that, and you will have the last spot in the Apex Tournament. <sighs> my desire to be in this tournament slightly outweighs my pride and dignity. I'll do it. Great. Whenever you're ready. Chosen is the greatest wrestler in the world. He is better than I ever was or ever will be. Say something else. And act like you mean it. Every wrestler on the planet should retire immediately because no one will ever compare to Chosen. We good now. Almost. Explain what will happen if you face Chosen in the Apex Tournament. You know, just for my own self-confidence. Okay. If I'm unlucky enough to face Chosen, he will easily defeat me in mere seconds. Again, Chosen is the best. Okay, I'm done. Great. My social account's been on fire lately. But this is going to put it over the top. My fans, the Chosen ones, are going to love hearing you say all that. What do you mean? Oh, that wasn't just for my self-confidence. I recorded what you said on my phone so I could post it. The entire world needs to hear you say Chosen is the greatest. <sighs> You're actually the worst. Sorry, I already stopped recording. Can't take back what you said. Good luck in the qualifying match. Don't blow it. The Apex Tournament is finally here. How are you feeling? A bit jet-lagged from the flight. But I'm sure once the bell rings, the adrenaline will take over and I'll be fine. Why is this tournament so important to you? 
This is a high profile event where a successful showing would go a long way to rebuild my image. And of course, I wouldn't mind beating a few current WWE superstars in the process. Got it. So this is the part where you explain the format of the tournament. You really need to start doing your research. The tournament's participants are split into two groups. Each group's wrestlers face off in round-robin singles matches. Wins are worth two points, draws one, and losses, zero. The winners of the two groups face each other at the Japan Dome to determine the tournament champion. And that's a big deal? Yes. I've competed there a handful of times earlier in my career, but only in opening matches. The final of the Apex Tournament will be the main event at the Dome. So yeah, I'd say that's a big deal. If I'm understanding the tournament format correctly, we're nearing the end of the round robin portion, and after a draw against Ricochet, you're now one point behind Finn Balor headed into your final group match, which happens to be against Balor. That's right. So if I want to win the group to get to the finals and main event, the Japan Dome, I need to beat Finn. A loss or another draw and I'm headed home empty-handed. Well, hopefully you've at least picked up some cool souvenirs while you're here, so it wouldn't be completely empty-handed. The only souvenir I care about is the Apex Tournament Trophy. But to earn that, first I need to beat Finn, which will be no easy task. He's a top WWE superstar, so I'm sure he'll have some extra motivation to not be upstaged by me. If you beat Finn, it's looking like Chosen is a lock. Sorry. It's looking like Chosen's going to win Group B, so you'd face him in the finals. I'm not worried about Chosen. He's too concerned about his image and social media content to be a real threat. So if I get by Finn, the trophy's mine. I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30 or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties? <laughs> I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I can get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. I didn't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least it'll be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. Uh, didn't know you were going to be here, too. Ah, uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Thought I could be look free for a while. Don't call me that. Okay. Look. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better, since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. Okay, I see your point about him, but it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. <sighs> Fine. But just this one match. That's it. And sorry for getting you too involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. 
And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It could tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing the match. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. You are so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You headed yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a prama at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but how about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right, let's do this. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that, and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. Like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that. Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dahl or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dahl is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. 
WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? Huh. Are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. NXT UK and Heritage Cup champion Noam Dar has laid down his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room to step up and answer it. So far, no one has been able to defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. I may no longer be a WWE superstar, but that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. So I'm ready to do this if you are. Noam Dar has informed me that he will accept the challenge as long as the match is contested under British rules. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match, while Dar specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I'll do it. Let's go. Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home, beaten and embarrassed. We're going to have a former WWE superstar competing for two NXT UK championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no Dar, just win this match. A non-contracted, disgruntled former employee just walked in here and captured not one, but two NXT UK championships. This is a dark day in WWE. It is, but more importantly, how do we move forward? Is the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure, absolute chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. If you haven't been keeping up with my career since I left WWE, I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere, this NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. Are you kidding me? Is he stealing the NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the Bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security and a referee to the rap sheet. Somehow, a dark day in WWE just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that. Yeah, he's all to sing and wrestling, but honestly, how long can this go on? Is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. It's gonna get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go. We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the oddest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, joyriding around the world, but now it's time to face your challenges head on. And that means returning to WWE. So... 
I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. I'm not sure I agree with how you handled this, but I get why you did it. You're right. Maybe it is time to go back. I am right. And are you honestly surprised I did this? It's kind of my thing. No. Should have seen it coming a mile away. What can I say? I went with my gut. I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. All right. I guess we're headed to Raw. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the luck? Current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only, there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. At least you haven't run into Shawn Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. And I'm here to tell you, the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. 
And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now that I'm back, what's really... Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade, but let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed, and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. A little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently, forever, or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade and we'll get this over with tonight. No chance. 58 days. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former Locke left WWE. Slade may have taken a backseat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but his boss Shawn Michaels just said there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Wow, this is actually going to happen? I understand that I got this. Trust me. Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we have a new champion here. What the heck? Shawn Michaels just pulled the referee out of the ring. What kind of behavior is that by our VP of talent development? 
Sean wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Was this all part of Evolution and Michaels' plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's gonna try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck stacked against him like this. My ring, my show. You don't belong here. I do. <laughs> this is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? <laughs> It's former WCW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to The Rock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's gonna force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Slade Runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. Wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What'd he say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. SummerSlam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks, with one Raw a week, plus a premium live event, so you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. Evolution has arrived in style to Monday Night Raw. Whoa! Evolution's getting ambushed. They were not expecting this. Orton into the side of the limo. There's broken glass everywhere. We've take heard rumors that a new faction was forming to take on Evolution. This must be it. And Braun Breakers tossed head first into the limo. This is pure chaos. Not so fun now that I've evened up the sides, is it? I'm coming for this title, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Now what? I think they're gonna flip over the limo. This is insane. <laughs> Impact, Evolution, Shawn Michaels, and all of WWE, for that matter, has been put on notice. 
I can't believe this group that's been assembled. This next month is going to be very interesting. joined forces with Evolution. Unbelievable! Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Or, in this case, two of the most powerful factions in WWE. I mean, just when you thought you had evened up the sides, we were two steps ahead. So, Good luck winning the championship, saving your career now. And the WWE Champion nails the Slade Runner! Evolution started this night on their heels, but now we end the night looking at a brand new super group led by Shawn Michaels, more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. You have to feel for the former Locke, who looked to have captured momentum in his quest to win gold and remain in WWE, but now he's suffered a major setback. Let's be real, guys, this is more than a setback. It's a career-ending roadblock. And we've seen him overcome long odds before, but I agree, this does not look good. <sighs> a tough night out there. We'll catch up back at the bus. <clears throat> what do you want? Just came to check on you and let you know that it's over. <laughs> you lost. It's not over yet. I still have time. Maybe. But how do you think you're gonna get another WWE Championship match? I hold all the cards. I have a proposal. Next week, I'll take on someone from your new super group. If I win, I get a title match at SummerSlam with a chance to beat the deadline. And if you lose? Then we can forget about the deadline. I'll leave WWE immediately. So, basically, if things go our way, <laughs> and they will, I can get rid of you sooner than I planned? I like the sound of that. You have yourself a deal. So who am I going to face next week? Let's keep that a surprise. But I will give you a heads up on one thing. The match is gonna be no disqualification. So good luck stopping us. Chair to the gut, softening him up. Braun's opponent is taking advantage of this no disqualification match. Shawn Michaels is here to also take advantage of the lack of rules. Michaels is calling in the cavalry. This is going to be a repeat of last week. How can anyone stop this super group? But where are they? That's one way to stop them. Have your faction take them out before they can get to you. Smart move by their leader, but can he capitalize and win this match? Randy Orton's here and he has no idea. Low blow from Orton. The Vipers lining up an RKO. And just a reminder, this is all perfectly legal. Wait, what? Where did he come from? That's international star Chosen. It looks like the former Locke had an ace up his sleeve. But Braun Breaker has recovered and he's got a kendo stick. But he reverses. Now he's battering Braun Breaker repeatedly with that kendo stick. Wait, is he setting up Braun Breaker for his own move? And he locks it in with the kendo stick. Can Braun Breaker hold on? He can't. Braun tapped. It's over. And more importantly, he lives to fight another day and will take on Slade for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. 
somehow he found a way to pull this out. And now he has an opportunity to strike before the championship or bust deadline expires. We'll see about that. But Shawn Michaels and company can't be pleased with how this turned out. They thought they were putting this all to an end. And instead, the fate of this man and the WWE Championship will be decided at SummerSlam. Big win out there. But bloody hell. You didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do it, Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No, not Shawn. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Sean's. War Games. We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Where I've been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate when you reached out asking for help that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your two of us is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you, too. All right. Let's do this. It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, uh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. Alright. Have you decided what type of match you're gonna pick? Because I was thinking, you should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean, a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well, if you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen. And drinks are on me. I'm going with Chosen, and not for the free drinks. I've had all the momentum since he came in, and I want to keep that going at SummerSlam. I'll be out there with you in spirit. And speaking of spirits, I'm going to collect my pool money and hit the pub. I'll save you a seat. It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like, you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? I hadn't thought about it like that, but maybe you're right. There is a small part of me that knows, despite how hard I've worked to get here, that it could all come to an end. And that's scary. 
Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an extreme rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, the lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over, but now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade. We've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night The Lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or how about the time you got beat down backstage, which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place. Or, more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately, losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that, or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion.
Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see a WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. You did the right thing. Look, I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger had game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. the strike and he counters with the headlock backbreaker vintage randy orton orton's clearly in control now it looks like he's trying for a top rope hung ddt his opponent's doing everything he can to counter and here comes Shawn michaels with the assist but Shawn gets taken out and now the challenger has an opening Orton charges. Drop to hold him to the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like they'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. Happened? Apparently Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. He did it! Not only is he the new WWE Champion, but he beat the dead ride and is officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back. Maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect for Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One on one. No one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline, but he might not walk out of here champion. Buckle up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history and one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand-new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself included. Could somebody please pick my jaw up off the floor so I can call this match? You're on your own, Corey. It's Sami Zayn versus the newly minted WWE Champion for the title right now. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has. Going for a pin for the championship. The champ lifts his shoulder up before one there. Could be in search of a second win now. <laughs> if this lands, it might be all over. Sonny Driver. Brought down with a snap bear. Looking wobbly in the corner. Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluva kick. This could be it. He moved. <laughs> he dodged the Haluva kick. With the roll up. And it will do it. He successfully defended his WWE Championship after Sammy Zayn's shocking cash in. Sammy Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sammy. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one.
Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known. He may also be looking for redemption, but for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they forced their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do, and I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again?